Welcome back to Xfinity Sports Extra. Denver 7, the official station of the Denver Outlaws. And lacrosse, we know, is so big in Colorado. We hosted the World Championships a couple of years ago, and Ryan LaPlante is a perfect example of all this. He went to Outlaws games when he was a kid, then played lacrosse in high school in Fort Collins, then to DU, winning a national championship, and last Sunday started his first ever game in goal for the Outlaws. This story is almost too good to be true. I caught up with Ryan to talk about what it means to grow up playing lacrosse in Colorado and now to be playing at the highest level right here in his home state. Were you nervous uh, taking the field here Sunday? Yeah, absolutely. I was, I was really nervous. I, I struggled a little bit in the first quarter. Um, they got five quick ones on me, and then um, I just finally settled down. That's kind of what I work on. And then I think just getting those first game butterflies and jitters out of the way and just right. playing relaxed. Ryan LaPlante, who was under fire early on, all smiles at the end as he wins his Major League Lacrosse debut. It was an incredible experience. I mean, first time getting to play in this field as a professional athlete was spectacular growing up as a Colorado kid. Nothing more exciting. I mean, I would come here, the first time I played on this field was when I was in fifth grade at halftime of an Outlaws game. So wow. really exciting to finally get to this point and just how much this game has given me in the state of Colorado, seeing how much it's grown yeah. to now. It's just really exciting. So when you came to a game mm -hmm. as, a, as, a, as a kid, you know, elementary yep. school kid, did you come down and like a whole your hand out and shake hands and get autographs and stuff uh, like yeah that. i mean i idolize these guys just as much as these kids do now it's so exciting to see how much passion these kids have for the games so yeah we don't give it as many fans but the kids that come here they're so right. excited we get to meet them it's more of a hands-on experience which is awesome for these little guys on the ground still loose the plant comes out he joins the fray, kicks it, and he comes away with it. Did you ever see yourself or think of yourself like, I want to be on that field doing <laughs> what they do at some point in my in my life? And, yeah. And here you are, right? Absolutely. I mean, it's it's every kid's dream to get to play at the highest level. Um, you work so long, so you play every, year round. I mean, lacrosse right. has become a year round sport. Um, so it's kind of your ultimate goal is to end up at this level and get to play against the best guys every weekend. And you're coming from a national championship season at mm -hmm. DU. I mean, you probably, in your mind, you're like, this is as good as it's going to get. We win the national exactly. title, yeah, yeah, raise the trophy, and then, boom, into a professional career, and you're, you're here in Denver <laughs> playing pro lacrosse. Yep. <laughs> I mean, could it have gone any better for you at this point? Um, I, I can't be happier with what's <laughs> happened, luckily. Um, it's just such an exciting experience. I've really, it's been a great ride, and I just want to keep going and win the, the tournament this year for us. Right. And CDU in the tournament as well, I think. Exactly. And the Mammoth. I mean, the Mammoth haven't won in a couple years. I, had. I really think it's just, lacrosse is just on the tipping point here. Well, you know, like most professional lacrosse players, Ryan has to find other ways to make money. Listen to this. He works in his mom's real estate company in Fort Collins. He helps coach goalies for the girls lacrosse team at Valor Christian. He's got his own elite goalie academy with Trevor Tierney, and he also gives private goalie lessons. He's a little bit busy, this guy, but doing exactly what he loves. What a story. 